Hey guys, Bradley Hallman here. Thanks for joining us today. I am at the Bass Tank Install Shop, going to answer some of your most frequently asked questions that you guys have on a regular basis. Hopefully help you guys knock some things out really quick. These are gonna be short videos, not gonna go long into it, and try to answer some of the questions you guys have all the time. Is it better to run your live scope transducer on your trolling motor, or is it better to put it on a separate pole? <laughs> Alright guys, if you're running a bass boat like myself, I personally prefer it on my trolling motor. Most of the guys that I know that are running this thing at a very high level have had a lot of experience running it. We all prefer to have it underneath our feet. Um, there are some situations where I've got some buddies that have done some different things if they're running multiple graphs up front with maybe they've got a Humminbird 360 and they're running a Garmin. They've got some different contraptions where they've got a pole set up. But for the most part, 99% of the time, most of the guys are wanting to run their live scope straight underneath their feet, directly tied to their trolling motor, and that way you have direction left and right all the time. The one thing that I know that is different on a pole is, is that if you guys live in the Great Lake area, something like that, something where you're using spot lock to hold you in a wind or current, could be a river system, um, and you're wanting to position your boat with spot lock and it holds you in a spot, but yet you want to look up current into the, a different direction so that the boat or off to the side of the boat. Those are the guys that are really having a lot of success by putting it on a secondary pole. Um, think about that, it just depends on your style of fishing. Like I say, most of you guys watching this video, I'm guessing are probably either crappie fishermen or bass fishermen, and that's really where this thing comes in underneath our feet on a trolling motor. But like I said, there are times on a separate pole it can be used. Also, they're not bad underneath your docks if you're a crappie fisherman and you're fishing under docks, little secondary pole's a good idea there as well. Oh, and by the way, guys, here's another big advantage to having that thing mounted on your trolling motor. I've noticed traveling the country, whether we're at Lake Lanier chasing blueback herring fish or here in Oklahoma where I'm brush pile fishing, um, having that thing on my trolling motor allows me to actually chase active fish that might not be related directly to cover. They might be off structure. That's a term that we use a lot in fishing, meaning like if you've got a point and the fish is actually not sitting on the point, he is, he's off structure, but he's sitting out here suspended in 20, 25 foot next to the point. Having that transducer mounted to your trolling motor where you've got your foot has full control over it will allow you much easier access to find those fish throughout the day.